Great to see that old footage, wasn't it? I'm sure that's bringing back a lot of memories for a lot of people. Now, ahead of the weather, Alexis is out and about in a neighbourhood that is already gearing up for Christmas. Looks great there. Where are you? Yes, Alan, I'm in Barton-on-Sea, surrounded by thousands of lights and hundreds of Christmas decorations. Let's talk to the man behind the display, Jed Hollyoak. Jed, this is absolutely amazing. You couldn't do the light. No, but I've done a little one in the um, garden and I raised... Because over the years, you've been doing this for a number of years and you've raised thousands and thousands of pounds. 14 years and raised 85,700 for different charities. That's just amazing. Let's talk about the centrepiece for this whole display. The centrepiece is my NHS sign that I made myself and I had to draw, d uh, drill 1,200 holes for the lights That's to go in. That's incredible. Do you, do you know how many light bulbs you do have here? No, I haven't got a clue, but I can give you <laughs> an idea. There's 2,000 just on the ground there. Just 2,000, OK, as you can imagine, the whole street. We've got how many houses lit up that you've personally decorated? About 11. About 11, that's just incredible. Now, you must be constantly fixing them. How, how, how many times do you have to go in there and...? Every day. Every day. And Every day. And I just noticed some at the moment that needs oh, fixing. Oh, you have? <laughs> and how about um, putting them all up? Oh, I get the ladders out at the end of September and start at the top and come work my way down and up. Well, it's all for the NHS, isn't it? This year, yeah. And you do different charities every year. But good, good luck with all the fundraising. Let's talk to one of Jed's neighbours, Frankie. Frankie, how long have you been involved in this? Because your house is decorated across the street. Yeah, I've moved here 19 years ago, and it was just very small in those days. And obviously, since the last 14 years have gone, we've just got bigger and bigger and bigger and raised more and more money. And it seems to be really popular with everyone, not, not just the kids, the adults as well. Absolutely. It's just a nice community. You know, we're all here together and we come out in the street and the kids love it. It's really, really, really good fun. Tell me about your decorations. So my decorations are pretty much new every year. I buy a few new ones. Um, Jed helps me put them up, but I do put a lot of them up myself. Um, I like pink this year, so I bought some pink lights to put in my wow. tree. <laughs> and, and people come from far and wide, don't they? Absolutely. Um, all over the place and I had friends from California here a few years ago and they said that actually these lights were better than anything they had in California. Excellent well well done with your display this year let's take a look at your lovely weather pictures it has been a bit chilly today this lovely sunny scene from Paul Curry was photographed today in Portsmouth Harbour and Anne-Marie Britton photographed the blue skies in Bramshaw in the New Forest. I can confirm it's bitterly cold here in Barton-on-Sea this evening. Let's take a look at the weather forecast for the next few days. So today we've had freezing temperatures. Tomorrow it is going to be a lot milder, but we have a good deal of cloud, perhaps with some rain at times and with some misty conditions. So the satellite picture is showing clear skies initially tonight, but then the rain starts to move in and that rain nudges up against the cold air we have at the moment and could turn to snow, particularly over higher ground for northern parts of of the region but we could see some wintry flurries elsewhere now overnight tonight temperatures will drop away to around freezing or below so there could be a frost initially tonight but with the rain and the cloud arriving that rain will be with us first thing tomorrow morning gradually easing south and eastward so Brighter skies will develop in some places through the afternoon with a high tomorrow of 10 to 12 degrees, so a lot milder than today's 5 Celsius. Looking ahead to tomorrow night, we are going to see patchy cloud. The rain will gradually ease. Maybe some patchy rain will arrive during the early hours of Saturday morning as well, but there will be one or two clear spells here and there with temperatures falling tomorrow night to around 5 or 6 Celsius, so a milder night than tonight. Looking ahead to Saturday, we'll have rain at first in some places. Places. That will clear south and eastwards to brighter skies and a northwesterly wind. And it will feel chilly on Saturday with highs of around 5 to 8 degrees. It's also pretty chilly on Sunday. So we have the mild temperatures tomorrow. We'll have highs of in double digits 10 to 12 degrees. But over the weekend, it turns a lot colder. And with that north to northwesterly wind, it will feel quite chilly. So looking ahead to the weekend, sunny spells after a wet start on Saturday. But it will be a lot drier on Sunday. Sunday. We hold on to the chilly temperatures as we start next week. There will be some sunshine at times, but also one or two showers. So mild temperatures tomorrow. Enjoy the mild weather before it turns chilly once again, like today, as we head into the weekend. 
Alexis, thank you. Be with us tomorrow night when we'll be finding out about a bid to make Southampton a national park city, showcasing open spaces and celebrating biodiversity. We'll ask what impact the new status will have. Meanwhile, don't forget our late news as usual tonight here on BBC One at 10.25. Good night.